Let's take you now to this advocate, Temegad Mugaitobi, is delivering the keynote address at the annual Steve Biko Public Lecture at the Nelson Mandela University in Kabecha tonight. So we are embracing Don't do it anyway. Kofu ke na lomtu usinga yawa namtange. Iko amu Steve ke na. So kuba walo shabu ke ngosnat. Nenga skala zelga kul. Tabula lage emanti kwa lengo umta kuetu imbondo misela kut. Eoga lofna kwa lengo shabu. Upea tena la kutoa uwe acting VC. Title lega London leba mampondo mis. Sisi zinga wake Dr Mweng, TV lega intayato ibilab, undi introduce kama nand, nda itanda London le. Kutoa kwenye Miss Shuba ulab, u yadash, kufunua msaada zapu ya. And then uh, Mr. Cocker, uh, we register. Cow uh, was our court. The was six, and doctor was seven. And we are failing. And then we are failing. And then we are failing. And then we are And then we are failing. And then we are And Singa vagutoa, e e bebe sif bebe funo guza mana ba kuzang, e ususi kige mna na ega sauti teka le, ninga ngi ninda ugeni, e kora ge sabuli albana ni lab, e dengi, e nengo keli ya azapo, umnumza na ukagema, ne kuzala ngi. I'm privileged that the Azanian People's Organization has invited me to deliver this lecture. You as Azapo should feel proud that you are one of the few organizations that have kept the memory and legacy of Steve Biko alive. I also feel that I'm privileged that my host tonight is this great university named after Nelson Mandela. I've entitled this lecture a blow to the head. It is obviously a play on the words because that is literally what was revealed in the inquest as the cause of Bigo's death. But I also use it as a double entendre. There is a secondary meaning to the title. Steve Bigo's death was itself a blow to the head of black society and maybe a blow to the head of society at large. The subtitle of the lecture is The Murder of Steve Biko. After reading a number of tributes and lectures in honor of Steve Biko, probably about five of them, it became clear to me that the story of the murder and the complicity for the cover-up that came afterwards is yet to be fully explored. I have therefore pieced together a narrative based on public sources, archives, and public materials to create not just a picture, but an imagination of the last five days of Bigo's life. Because Bigo was not an isolated man, there is another pressing but forgotten story which provides context and elucidation to the final days of Biko. I shall start briefly with that story. On the 15th of April, 1996, Ms. Nontle Mohapi appeared before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. She wanted to tell the story of the death in detention, perhaps more accurately, murder in detention, of her husband, Mapetla Mohapi. This was the first day of the commission, and Ms. Mohapi was the commission's very first witness. In a court of law, the choice of a first witness is a singular decision, as it can shape or sink the trajectory of a case. Yet right at the outset, Bishop Desmond Tutu, who chaired the commission, 
announced just before Ms. Mohapi was sworn in to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing else but the truth. That the Commission's proceedings would not be conducted like a court of law. The reason, he stressed, was that he wanted the proceedings to be dignified and respectful to the people whose stories were to be told in that forum. In welcoming Ms. Mohapi, Bishop Tutu would continue. Many of us remember as though it was yesterday when Mapetla died in police custody. We remember the anguish and the horror of those days. We know also, apart from the personal grief that you've experienced, that you yourself have been a victim of human rights violations. Mapetla had been a graduate of the then University of the North, where he became a member of the South African Students' Organization, SASO. He was also an activist in the NASA... And that is uh, the public lecture there, the annual Steve Biko public lecture at the Nelson Mandela University in Kabecha tonight. Uh, that is advocate Temega Nukai Tobi, who is delivering that keynote address, which he says he's titled A Blow to the Head. What was revealed, of course, is the cause of Steve Biko's death and saying that, um, you know, his death was not only a blow um, to the black society, but possibly society in general. We are streaming this particular lecture on SABC news.com.